So actions from this class, number one, don't be dishonest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and don't violate your trust knowingly. So which means that as Muslims, we have a promise that we have made to our religion and as the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said in his last sermon that the Muslims who were present there, it was their duty to um, spread the message of Islam and so today it is our duty also to spend our way and to spend our wealth and our children in the way of Islam and spend our time for Islam. So while fulfilling all our obligations of education, job and everything that we have to do in order to manage this life, we should balance it by also manage, uh, managing the obligation towards uh, Islam that we have. Action number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us wealth and children as a trial. It was clearly said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us all this wealth and our children as a trial, meaning that we have to spend our wealth in the way of uh, Islam and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we have to teach our children and the right messages and share with them the right guidance and pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide them as well so that they can also be follow the right path and um, live their lives according to the way of Islam and become sabtajariya for us as parents as well. Have confidence that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the best planner. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, is the best planner and only his plan prevails. This should also enable us to only fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and seek help from him alone. We have to be firm and patient when we are facing, when we are face to face versus the forces of evil. In order to be victorious, in order to be uh, victorious, we have to obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in order to be true believers and in order to be victorious as well. And finally, um, as a summary of the last previous ayahs that we discussed, establish a strong connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as our only helper and protector so that we can overcome all the plans and tactics of shaitan, wrongdoers, hypocrites that get thrown our way. It can come in straightforward, it can come in disguise and these days with all the misinformation that is all around us that is happening, a lot of evil things get thrown to us and we have a lot of access because of internet and all the information that is available um, out there. So we should have a strong, try to establish a strong connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, continue to pray to him in order to protect us from all the evil plans um, of shaitan or any wrongdoers or hypocrites. So this marks the end of today's lesson.